today's video, we're going to show you how to make a webhook or API endpoint. So we're just going to open up a trigger node, a webhook trigger node. And uh, in that webhook trigger node, uh, you'll notice that there's an HTTP method. Um, by default, it's set to get, which is the most common one. But there are a couple other options there that do modify how things are done. So we'll just re reset it back to get. You'll also notice that there's a response mode. Um, by default, it's set to on received. Uh, but what we're going to do is we're going to move it to last node. And what that does is when it executes the workflow, it'll respond back with the information that's in the workflow. And uh, you'll notice that there's a new response data. We're just going to use the one that's by default. Again, you'll see we have our webhook URL. And um, by default, it gives it a random path. So we're going to change that path to something a little bit easier to uh, remember. And so we're just going to call it endpoint. And we'll save that there. And now when we go back into the uh, webhook URLs, uh, you'll notice that it says endpoint instead of that random string. So we'll click on that and uh, put that into our clip, uh, clipboard. And we'll just close down the webhook node. Um, because we have the webhook node, we don't really need the start nodes. We're just going to set it aside here. And uh, we'll uh, save this uh, workflow because once again, a webhook uh, nodes require them to be saved before you can do any testing. All right, so we're going to uh, add another node. So we're just going to grab a set node here and attach it to the, uh, the system. And we're going to add in a string. And you'll notice I've set the uh, keep only set so that it only sends one thing. So a quick note as to why I turned on the keep only set option in the set node. There's a lot of extra information coming in from the webhook. And we really don't want this information going out when responding back to the call. So when we turn this on, only the information that is set in the set node itself will be forwarded onto the API. Anyway, back to the video. So we're going to call this the response. And the response is going to be message received. All right, so then we'll close that node. So now that we have both of them done, we'll just save that again, make sure we've got everything uh, saved properly. And then we're going to execute the workflow. We're going to go into the other web browser and we're going to paste in the uh, endpoint that we have there. And you'll notice now the response is message received exactly the way we put it in. Thanks for watching.